This is the DJI Phantom 4 drone. Let's go in closer. This is where the propellers clip on. The specs are amazing on this machine. You can see the quality. The shot of the motors. And as we come down here, I discovered something etched in the aluminum. Can you see it there? What is that? Is that Chinese writing? Somebody make a post and tell me what that is. Here's the inside of the propellers. Genuine DJI propellers for the Phantom 4. This is one of two optical cameras that recognizes patterns on the ground when you're hovering over it. This gives greater stability when combined with the sonar system. If you happen to be somewhere where there's no GPS available. You can see in there, there's little itty bitty speakers, kind of like tweeters that shoot sound down to the ground and then back up so that it can sense how high it is off of the ground. These are the metal screen covered vents that are downward facing now to help keep moisture out of the inside of the machine. Besides being functional, they just look schnazzy. These are the navigation lights that are now round and directly under the motors with an additional reflective clear plastic on the tips so that you can see the light when you're standing above it. Very smart by DJI. Heading in now through the magnesium core into where the battery connects. This is the male end, and these prongs are dipped in pure gold. Here's a close-up of the revolutionary magnesium core slash frame of the aircraft that gives it extra rigidity, minimizes vibration, increases the performance of the IMU, and more importantly, makes the whole craft lighter. You can see all the doodads and whatnots, that's what I like to call them, on the board here. Again, a great demonstration of the precision engineering at DJI. All of this technology packed in here so that you can fly with no worries and get those great shots. The Phantom 4 features dual IMUs as well as dual compasses. That in itself, in my opinion, makes it worth the price of admission. And there's some more gold stuff for you. Heading in now on the gimbal, and you can see a close-up of the arm, and how they figured out that it's probably a good idea to hide that ribbon so it doesn't get caught in anything when you're flying or landing. The gimbal is made of a strong composite material and is hidden mostly within the body of the aircraft, giving it a better center of gravity. And here's a tight shot of the gimbal motor. Again, precision engineering on DJI's part. The SD card is in a better spot, I think, easily accessible from the side, integrated into the body of the machine. This is a USB port where firmware updates are done easily on your computer with a very intuitive companion program. Just pop this out real quick and show you some more gold. This is the new intelligent flight battery for the Phantom 4. In optimal conditions, it can give you 28 minute flight times. It comes with a 100 watt charger and will charge up completely in under an hour from being completely dead. Make sure you keep it ventilated. I advise taking it out of the drone after a long flight and letting it cool down before you charge it again. And these vent holes will help you do just that. If you hold it up to the light, you can actually see straight through the battery to the other side. Heading into the part where it connects on the copter itself. This is the female end. 
Again, more gold inside. And check out the controller. Looks like a pretty metal flower on the control sticks. This bracket was plastic on the Phantom 3, but they figured out that they needed it to be metal, so they updated it for the Phantom 4. Again, the craftsmanship is unbelievable and well worth the money. Here's your record switch and a pause button for newbies who panic. If they get into any kind of trouble, you just hit that and it will stop and hover in the air. Here's what I like to call the gear shift. That's where you switch it to go into sport mode. And then there is your gimbal control for the camera to go up and down. And now the best part, the camera. This lens has been updated from the Phantom 3. It's a 4K camera with a rectilinear lens and a 94 degree field of view, which translates into sharper images on the outside of the frame. Just beautiful video from this camera. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please share if you liked it. Give me a thumbs up and look for more Phantom 4 videos on this channel very soon. If you'd like to get one of these beauties for yourself, go to coptersource.com.